Hey, it's Chris McGuire from the Twitch stream LULU58E2, at least for the purposes of this video. Uh, this highlight clips from October 18th, 2024. And this first clip is uh, Terry and I refiguring out some very basic things in Erlang. How to reconstitute a function. So, check it out. Uh, yeah, oh no! I need to turn it into. I need yeah. to turn it into an actual function. And how do you do that? Um, God, it's amazing how much you lose in a short period of time. Let's go um, to... it's in the Erlang module, probably. Yeah, there's a, a module. God, Erlang docs. The new one. I don't like this new. The new way they've set this up. It's not. Uh, module name is it in here Erlang there's probably a way to search for it I should figure it out it er is Erlang there's Erlang and predefined data types where where's the just the functions Oh, I'm, am I in the reference module? Uh, modules? Erlang? Yeah, I can't find anything in the documentation anymore. Function? I know, it sucks. I don't really remember what it's called either. Erlang terms? Oh, here we go. This might be it. Um, it should just be called like function fun to list fun info is there like an MFA process import system um, deprecated let's do um, is it like um, MFA maybe No, that's a tip. Really need that. Oh, but you want to save it as a. a well, are you gonna? Let me let me get back to where you are. Are you gonna save it as an MFA or as like an anonymous function? Actually, oh, non anonymous function. I was gonna actually store it as a function. There's got to um, be another. Um, there's got to be another way to. Can you define it as fun? Yeah. Oh, too, too fun? To MFA to... No, it's... Um... Oh, come on. I'm going to ask Rock. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. In Erlang... How do I turn a an MFA, i.e. module function arity, into an actual function? I should know this. This is super basic. Uh, Erlang fun info. That's weird. Oh, no, actually. You just do, I think, you just do this. Let's try it. Uh, uh, what's an Erlang function? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, it Why don't I have, er oh. Am I not in main? There. Uh, What's an Erlang function? Just any function. Go. No, I can't think of any. Uh. <laughs> uh. Um. As soon as you ask for a random one, you're not going to get one. No, uh, prop list. Uh, get value. Let's try prop. Sure. Oh, head. Head. Uh, Erlang. Head. 
of one two. Okay, good. So I think you can just do fun equals. Okay, so let's do um, m equals Erlang, and then f equals head, and then a equals one, and then we can do uh, fun equals uh, m f a. No, what? Did I not do fun? Ah. Fun. That's it. Super easy. <laughs> tell, it, tell it the atom of the module, tell it the atom of the function, and tell it the, the arity. So then I can do fun of two, three, two. Perfect. Bingo, bango. Okay. Okay. So this next clip is uh, me explaining uh, just a short explanation of how uh, text from a WebSocket connection that comes into a MUD is parsed then into a uh, eager graph uh, compatible event. Unbound. Uh, did I change? I changed the message for some reason. Uh, I need to change that back. Well, no, I, I, I'm up. Naming is hard. It's it's a message you're getting over the WebSocket. It's just text, so you need to parse it. I really should call it. This should this should be this should um, be message event. You're parsing the message into an event. Because what what like if you say look Pete, it'll parse it into. Uh, like your player PID, and then look as an atom, and then. Pete as a binary, it all in a tuple, and that that is what it, an event is. So I think I I'm gonna I think I've got some yeah I don't know what to do. So I think I can go straight to. Can I go? I can. So that's it. There's a couple highlights from the stream from uh, October 19th no October 18th 2024. So join us on the stream, L-U-L-U-5-8-E-2 on Twitch, and uh, we're going to get a Discord server set up, and maybe we can chat. Thanks for watching.